Hi guys and welcome to another video. In today's video lesson, we're going to be looking at grade 11 and 12, Maths Trigonometry. We're going to be focusing on sketching and interpreting trig functions and dealing with a tan graph in particular. The question that we're going to be looking at is from the November 2018 paper 2. Question 6 reads as follows. It says, consider f of x equals to minus 2 tan 3 over 2x. So let's talk a little bit about a tan graph. Standard form of a tan graph or function is y equals to a tan b x plus p plus q. So it's important for us to know the effects of a, b, p, and q on this particular function. Now let's talk about a first. If you look at a, a, we'll just talk about the shape of this particular function. It's important for us to remember that the range of our tan graph is from minus infinity to infinity. So it doesn't have a maximum or a minimum value. So therefore, there's no amplitude in our tan graph. So they wouldn't ask us that question. B talks about the period of our graph. Now, the graph of y equals to tan x has a period of 180 degrees. That means it repeats itself every 180 degrees. So therefore, when you are working out the period of a tan graph, we we'll just say 180 degrees divided by b. The effect of p on the graph is the horizontal shift, x plus p. So if you have x plus p, that means the graph is going to shift p units x plus p, so p units left. So let's say I had x plus 60, so that will be 60 units to the left. x minus p will be p units right. Now this is for all functions, not only the tan graph, plus q. So once again, if I have plus q, that's q units up. And minus q is q units down. And remember, this is true for all functions. So now let's go and look at it. Write down the period of f. So therefore, f of x equals to minus 2 tan 3 over 2 x. So the period of f will be as I've already discussed, 180 over b. And what's our b value? 3 over 2. So if b is 3 over 2, our solution would be as follows. 6.1 period equals to 180 divided by 3 over 2. Let's put that in our calculator. So 180 divided by 3 over 2. 120 degrees. So therefore, the period of this graph is 120 degrees. The point A, T and 2 lies on the graph. Determine the general solution of T. So just like any other function, if a point lies on the graph, we can substitute the X and the Y value as follows. So we're going to substitute A, T and 2 into this function. So what will we get? 6.2 by value is 2 so we'll get 2 equals to minus 2 tan 3 over 2 t minus 2 tan 3 over 2 times t so let's work out our general solution remember to work out our general solution we have to make whatever function we're dealing with the subject of our equation so if you look at here, we need to divide by this minus 2 here, the coefficient of 10. So if we divide by minus 2, we'll get negative 1 equals to 10, 3 over 2 times t. Our next step will be to work out our reference angle of whatever 10 is. So the function 10, 3 over 2 
t equals to minus 1. So therefore, we'll say reference angle equals to tan inverse of 1, the positive of this particular value here. That's a special angle. It's equal to 45 degrees. We can double check. Shift tan 1, 45 degrees. Now, they say, where is tan 3 over 2 t equals to minus 1? So that's where is basically tan negative. So tan will be negative in the following quadrants. It will be negative in the second quadrant and also in the fourth quadrant, according to our cast diagram. Remember, first quadrant, all functions are positive. Second quadrant, sine and third quadrant, tan and then cos. So therefore, tan is positive in the first and the third quadrants. So it'll be negative in the second and the fourth quadrants. What's the formulas here? 180 minus theta, and here it's 360 minus theta. Now those formulas are important for writing down our general solution. Now remember that because the tan graph or the tan function has a period of 180. So it's going to be repeating itself every 180 degrees. So we only need to write one solution, either the second quadrant solution or the fourth quadrant solution. But let's do both. So therefore, for the second quadrant, my solution would look as follows. 180 minus theta. Theta is my reference angle, which is 45. So now I'm going to say 3 over 2t equals to the second quadrant 1 80 minus 45 equals to 135. 135 degrees plus k dot 180. Now, why k dot 180? Because when you're dealing with tan, remember the period of y equals to tan x 180 degrees. So we must write k dot 180. Remember k is any integer value. If we substitute any integer value, we will get answers which which lie in our domain if the domain was stipulated, but we'll leave it as k in our general solution. So I'm going to divide everything by 3 over 2. So therefore, this will be t 135 divided by 3 over 2. 135 divided by 3 over 2. Remember, I'm solving for t. That's now going to be equal to 90 degrees plus 180 divided by 3 over 2. 180 divided by 2 equals to 120 so that's k dot 120 and because it's a general solution it'll be for any integer value if we substitute any integer value here we'll get a solution where tan 3 over 2 t will be equals to negative 1. We'll, let's write down the fourth quadrant solution so for the fourth quadrant to be 3 over 2t equals to 360 minus theta, which is our reference angle. So we'll write that down. 360 minus 45 equals to 315. So 315 degrees plus k dot 180. Now we'll divide everything by 3 over 2 again. So we'll write down t. 315 divided by 3 over 2 equals to 210 degrees. And we know 180 divided by 3 over 2 is 120. And once again, here we'll write k, e, z. That means k can be any integer value. Now this is a general solution. In a specific solution, they would stipulate a domain. And then we would substitute integer values for k and any answer that lies within that domain, we'll write it down. Now, let's go look at the next question. On the grid provided in the answer book, draw the graph of f for the interval in this domain from minus 120 to 180. Clearly show all asymptotes, intercepts with the axis, and endpoints of the graph. So let's go and look at that very quickly. Now, one thing to note in 6.3. Remember, we're going to be using our calculator. So for 6.3, when you are 
using and I'm going to be using my Casio calculator and they have a step so you can either get the step from the grid that's given to you Sam or you can work it out as follows so the step can be worked out as follows for a tan graph it 180 degrees divided by 4b therefore 180 degrees divided by 4 times my b value is 3 over 2 so 4 times 3 over 2 equals 2 now let's look at that 180 divided by 4 times 3 over 2 equals to 30 degrees so my step is going to be 30 degrees now xe from minus 120 to 180 is my domain so therefore in this minus 120 to 180 that will be my start and that will be my end so i got my start end and step so all i need to do now is input this in my calculator it'll be as follows so let's look at that so what's our function so let's go to proper mode table which is seven so let's put that in so what's our function let's go quickly look at that one more time minus 2 10 3 over 2x that's minus 2 10 3 over 2 3 over 2 x press alpha and bracket equals 2 so start we already said that's going to be minus 120 and 180 and we worked out the step right? and i showed you how to just work out the step when dealing with the tan graph we're going to use 30 degrees and there you go you have nice values to work with here so let's go and plot this particular graph so we'll start here minus 120 and 0 minus 90 and minus 2 minus 60 and error means that's an asymptote so at minus 60 we'll just draw a broken line to show that the graph is undefined at that point minus 30 and 2 0 and 0 30 and negative 2 60 and asymptote there Ninety and two, one twenty and zero, one fifty and negative two, and one eighty, and there's an asymptote there. Okay, so now we can sketch our graph should look something like this remember that it must not touch our asymptote So our graph should look like that as long as we have our asymptotes and these important points here that's good enough for this particular question let's go look at the next question in the next question it says use the graph to determine the values of x for which f of x is greater than or equals to 2 for x in the domain from minus 120 to 180 therefore what we're looking at is we say where is the function 
for what values of x is the function greater than t. So let's see if we can draw a line there too. So there's two there. Okay. So they're actually asking us now, where is this? For what values of x is the function greater than two? So there we go. It's here. It's greater than two there, and it's also greater than two there. So what x values must we write? Well, there's the x values here. So we can write those x values as follows. So that'll be between minus 60 and minus 30, and also 60 and 90. But be careful of the asymptote, because remember the function is gonna go close to the asymptote, never touch it. And the question once again is, it says greater than equals to two. Therefore, when writing your solution, make sure you're careful about your boundary value. So 6.4 will be as follows. 6.4, so when you're writing your answer, it will be as follows. X element, remember that it's not going to touch the asymptote, so we're gonna use a round bracket. We're gonna say minus 60. Could use a round bracket. This is, remember, this interval notation. And here it's equal to two, so that's minus 30. So minus 30, and because it said it's greater than equals to two, we're gonna use a square bracket there. Or x element, and here minus, uh, so we got 60 and 90, so that's now going to be, 60 is the asymptote, so it's never gonna to touch 60, yeah? And 90, we're gonna use a square bracket. We could also write our answer as follows. X greater than minus 60 and less than equals to minus 30. And here we could say X greater than 60 and less than equals to 90. So interval notation and their set builder or set selected notation. Last question, 6.5, describe the transformation of the graph F to form the graph of g of x, which is minus 2, 10, 3 over 2, x plus 16. Let's look at that. Now, when looking at this particular question, so 6.5, let's write this down first. So what's this g of x is minus 2, 10, g of x equals to minus 2, 10, 3 over 2 x plus 60. 3 over 2 x plus 60. Now, what's the standard form of our original function? Standard form of our original function, remember, tan x is a tan b x plus b plus q. And also the original function was minus 2 tan 3 over 2 x. So we want to compare the two. First thing that we have to do here is the following minus 2 10 remember b has to be outside of the brackets so it's 3 over 2 3 over 2 times x is 3 over 2 x 3 over 2 times now we have to get a value here that's going to be equal to 60. we can use our calculator to help us there we can say 60 divided by 3 over 2 equals to 40 degrees. So therefore, 3 over 2 times x is 3 over 2x. 3 over 2 times plus 40 is plus 60. Therefore, now it's in the standard form. g of x equals to minus 2 tan. 3 over 2 is b. And here we got x plus 40. So now we can look at it and compare and say x plus 40. And remember what I said in the first part of this particular lesson, that x plus p is p units to the left and that's the only thing that changes here in this particular question so therefore this graph now is going to shift 40 degrees left that is if you haven't subscribed already make sure to subscribe to jl maths you can also watch all the videos in order of the work schedule on jlmaths.com like my facebook page justin lazarus mathematics and i'll catch you in the next video